Hello everyone, my name is Alyssa and today we're going to be doing a video on a conditioning hair mask. So we're going to be making a very simple product, it only has two ingredients in it. Those ingredients are going to be avocado butter and we're going to be using sweet almond oil, both of which have amazing benefits for your hair. Sweet almond oil can actually be used every single day. There are a few ways you can use this product to be able to maintain healthy, shiny, really radiant hair. So I'm going to explain how you do those, um, but in this video we're definitely going to be focusing on the hair mask itself, which is going to be combined with the avocado butter. Now, avocado butter is amazing for treating dry, damaged, just frizzy hair in general. I know I color my hair, I have highlights in my hair, definitely use lightener or bleach, however you want to call it, um, but it definitely takes a toll on my hair. So to maintain my hair in a healthy way, I definitely have to use products that are going to help condition. Now I choose to use something that's a little bit more natural for my hair. I'm already putting so much chemical on it, it's the least I can do to nourish it. Avocado butter though is going to help me maintain that frizz because I experience a lot of frizz. My hair is curly as you can see. This is more of a natural state of what my hair looks like, uh, but it's also super fine. And when you have super fine hair and curls and you live in Florida, the humidity is ridiculous. So my hair just looks like this big. So doing this every so often is super helpful. I wouldn't say I use this all the time because my hair is super fine. And although it is for all hair types, putting too much of any kind of oil on your hair that's not your natural hair is not going to be beneficial because you still want your natural hair, your natural oils in your hair to be able to get through. And the only way to do that is by gray scalp massages, brushing out your hair so that the oils reach the end, and not washing your hair every day. It's very important to not wash your hair every day. But avocado butter actually helps to seal in your natural oils, which is why I love it for a mask. So in this mask that we're actually creating today, it is a mask that is going to go on dry hair. Being that it's going on dry hair, it's going to sit on for about 20 minutes to an hour, and now this is based on your hair type. So if you have more fine, less curly hair, then I suggest going closer to the 20 minutes. And if you have more curly or coarse hair, definitely go towards the hour. Um, but that I'm gonna leave up to you. You're gonna have to make your own decision on how long you decide to leave it on your hair based on what's going on with the ends, the damage, the dryness, and how frizzy your hair really gets. So we're going to be having to shampoo, because we're leaving it on your hair and we're putting it on dry, we're gonna have to shampoo and condition. Now, once you shampoo and condition your hair, you can use your normal shampoo and conditioner that you use every day to wash out your hair. Make sure you've washed out the product completely. Sweet almond oil can be used every single day. You can actually put this in a spray bottle and spray the ends of your hair as a leave-in conditioner while damp slightly. So yes, the water molecules are still gonna be fighting for their space to get in there because it is an oil. But if you have it on slightly damp hair and it's not soaking wet, it will still be able to do its job and work as a leave-in conditioner to maintain shine, it reduces your hair loss by strengthening the ends of your hair, it actually helps with dandruff, it also seals in moisture, and like I said earlier, it's great for all hair types, it's not as greasy as other oils are, so definitely helpful because having that greasy weighed down feeling in my hair is a little bit much. Um, also, it could be used as a hot oil treatment. Now, when used as a hot oil treatment, you would just have to heat up a little bit of the oil you can do this with a double boiler or just getting a little glass jar or maybe a little like a little glass beaker and sticking it in a pot of water to heat up and just heat up the oil and you would rub it all over your scalp and all the way through the ends of your hair. You would actually wrap your hair in a cap and then leave it for approximately 30 minutes and that would be a great hot oil treatment. And then of course the mask that we're going to make today. So, I mean, there's just so many uses. You can even Google how many uses there are for sweet almond oil on your hair and all the different benefits that come with it. But we are working on a hair mask today, so let's get started with that, and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so we put one teaspoon of sweet almond oil, and then I went and cleaned the spoon. 
So we can also put in one teaspoon of avocado butter. Okay, so I added one teaspoon of sweet almond oil, one teaspoon of avocado butter, and then I am going to stir it in there really nicely, mix it up really well. I want to combine the oil and the butter all together. And now you have a hair mask that can be put right onto your hair. And like I said, it's super simple. Do it yourself at home, made right there. Being that it is a oil base, you can save it for later, but I would not leave it for a long time and definitely keep it in a sealed container. Oh, so now that we have mixed up our conditioning mask, which like I said was one teaspoon of sweet almond oil and one teaspoon of avocado butter, Again, it's just equal parts. If you need to make more, make more. Always start with a little bit though because I'd rather not waste any. And if you do ever have any left over, feel free to rub it into your skin because it's highly moisturizing for all parts of your body. So I am gonna show you how I put this in my hair. sitting there I'm gonna leave mine on for 30 minutes like I told you before 20 minutes to an hour I know 30 minutes is really sufficient for my hair being that I do have the curls in the frizz but it's still really fine so I don't want to leave it on too long because I don't want my hair to be super weighed down and then my curls will look like and then I'll feel like I have to wash my hair and being that I don't wash my hair but every three days I don't want to have to wash it sooner than necessary. So if you have any questions or comments about what I did today or you'd love to see anything else, really simple to make recipes for your hair or your skin, please let me know. Leave a comment down below. I love to respond to any comments that come in. Definitely like this video. Share to anybody you might know who might be interested in this or who needs this because many of us do and definitely subscribe to my channel to see any future videos coming out when you subscribe to my channel make sure you hit that bell and you hit all so that you get all my videos so hope you enjoyed making this video with me today and have a great day